Alright guys, how's it going there? This is Kenneth Moore here and in this Blender tutorial we're going to be looking at how we can work with and customize our workspaces. So let's begin. Alright, so we are in Blender right here and if we want to start working with the workspaces we need to go above our header right here and we see the workspaces all laid out right here. So we have modeling, sculpting, UV, editing, etc. And uh, what the workspaces are for is they are different um, layouts that we use when we're trying to accomplish different things. So if I wanted to focus on sculpting, I would go into the sculpting workspace. Or if I wanted to do something with texture painting, I would go into here, animation. And these different workspaces, they're really just designed to uh, help you do the task that you're working on. So you will notice that if I go into the modeling workspace, it brings me automatically into edit mode, which is used for modeling right here. And notice that uh, the modifiers uh, tab is open as well in our properties. And if you right click on your different workspaces, you have a few options. You can either duplicate them like this. I can delete them. I can also reorder them so I can move them uh, forward and backwards. It moves modeling forward. It moves it to the back, etc. I can also jump in between workspaces. Etc. So you have some tools up there that you can work with. And if you're on a workspace and left click and drag, you can jump in between the workspaces. So that's pretty cool. And we can also uh, add new workspaces up here. If we go to this plus icon, we can add different workspaces with these presets. So a workspace for video editing, for example, like that. Or we could even uh, duplicate a workspace. So duplicate current, it's going to duplicate the workspace that I am on. So it duplicated the video editing one and we notice that uh, the name has changed up here. And if I wanted to rename this, I would just double click and I could call it VE02 for video editing. I'll go ahead and I will delete that though. All right, now one other thing I wanted to add to this video is to show you guys how you can actually reset your workspace. And this comes in handy if things get really messy like what we have right here. So right now I'm in the layout workspace and I want to reset this to the original uh, layout. Well, all I have to do is simply go up to this plus icon, click, and then I simply have to look for the workspace that I want. So in general, we have the layout right here. Click on it and notice that it gives me a new workspace right here and everything is cleaned up and then all I have to do is simply delete this guy right here so right click delete and then on this guy I can just rename him to be the layout and this resetting technique should work with all of the other workspaces as well and I'll jump back into the layout one all right, now what's cool about Blender is that we don't always have to jump into a different workspace to uh, get certain tools or to get a certain layout. So if I wanted to uh, say, uh, change the layout on this one right here, I could simply uh, right click on the border. I would select a uh, vertical split right here. And then I could say, just change this to whatever I want it to be like drivers for animation. And I can do this in all of my different uh, workspaces as well. So let's say I jump into the animation one. I could uh, change this to however I wanted it to be. So I could turn this guy into the drivers right here. And now I've customized the workspace a little bit. And then once I have it the way that I want it, I can save it if I want this to be saved for the future. When I open up new Blender files, so I would go up to file, defaults, and then save startup file. But something very important when you save up your startup file, make sure that you are on the workspace that you want Blender to open up on. For if I save this right now, the way that it is, the next time that I open up Blender, it's gonna open up to this animation page. So if I don't want that, and I want Blender to open up on the layout page, I need to be in this layout page right here. And I'll just collapse this really fast. And then I'll go to file defaults and then save startup file. And then the next time I open up Blender, so file new general, don't save. If I go to the animation, it's what we saved it as. So yeah, the workspaces, they're pretty handy and they're pretty useful. 
And if you want to learn a little bit more about customization, uh, go back and watch our video on customizing the layout in Blender. We go a little bit more in depth on how you can customize things. But that's just a little bit about how we can uh, start working with the workspaces in Blender. We hope that you uh, got something from this video, that you got some value from it, and that you'll be able to use this uh, when you are modeling or working in Blender. Now, if you like this video and you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe below and to click on the bell, and we will see you guys in the next one. Until next time.